it is. My name is Mary Rayburn and I'm here to tell you of my life. It all started when I was born in England on the 12th of May 1777. When I was just two, my parents died and my grandmother took me in and raised me. She had sent me into service, however, in August 1791, when I was just 13, I ran away. Why? You might ask me. The food was poor, they were making me work too hard, and the people weren't nice to me. After running away, I disguised myself as a boy under the name of James Burrow. And then I stole a horse. I didn't know it was stealing at the time. I did it for my survival. I was arrested and in court my true identity was found out and I was sent to seven years transportation. I was 15 when I boarded the Royal Admiral. We were given four pairs of trousers to make last a week, one pound of rice and four pounds of pork besides greens and other vegetables. I decided to make myself as happy as I could in this unhappy situation. When I arrived, I felt sick, lost and confused. I got a job as a nursemaid in the household of Major Francis Groves. I was there until I eventually fell in love with a man, Thomas Brady, who I had met on the transport to Australia. We married on the 7th of September, 1794, when I was just 17. Thomas was granted land on the Hawkesbury River, where we lived and farmed following our marriage. Together, we had seven children. My husband was a very good businessman and made wise decisions that led to profit and success. Sadly though, life was never to be sunny forever and Thomas, my husband, died. I now needed to take care of my seven children alone and I also took control of his numerous businesses. I was no stranger to this task, having managed my husband's affairs during his frequent absences from Sydney. Now, being a woman with considerable wealth, I continued to expand my businesses. Over time, I opened a new warehouse on George Street and extended my shipping operations with the purchase of further vessels. By 1825, I was retiring from active involvement in commerce and I had acquired extensive property holdings in the city. On my retirement, I built a house in Newtown, Sydney, where I have lived ever since. As I look back at my life, I have seen that it is one full of trials and hardships. I am old now and my days have come to an end. I feel so thankful that I live in the lucky country, Australia.